Making a blueberry sauce this morning to go with our waffles. Got a cup of blueberries in here, half a cup of water, and a quarter cup of sugar. We're gonna let this cook until the berries start popping a little bit. They'll bust open a little bit, you know, when they get really warm. Then we're gonna add a cornstarch mixture, which is just a tablespoon of cornstarch and a tablespoon of water. We'll put about a quarter teaspoon of vanilla and a little bit of lemon juice, about a teaspoon. Just making a small batch of it because not everybody will want the blueberry sauce and when I make big batches of it, I eat it all. <laughs> There'll be so much left over and nobody wants it for anything and I'll be putting it on everything. It's good on ice cream, pancakes, waffles. It's also very good in oatmeal. You can see they're starting to pop a little bit now because the water's turning purple, so we're going to turn it down to in between medium and low. I had it on medium. We'll make our cornstarch mixture real quick. I'm going to turn it down to low now. Just let this simmer over here on low while we finish the waffles. Way up here now, Bub. I think it's time to pack away these winter dishes, y'all. It feels like it today, anyway. We've got another one of those beautiful. 70 degree days. It's a little bit after 3.30 now. Me and Manly and Sissy are about to go outside. All the 
other boys and Titus, they went riding for a little while. They're still um, training that one horse for that guy, so they needed to take him on a, another ride today. Well, I can ride now. You can ride too? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna wash up our lunch dishes real quick and then we'll go let the chickens Good. out. We have milked the cow. Wish we had a milk cow out there. Thank you. It's a We're making milkshakes. Manly wants a vanilla one and Sissy wants a chocolate one. Okay, you press this one. It says milkshake. This, this one. one. Oh. Ooh, that's a lot of milkshake. I know a lot about this kind of stuff. I've been out there on the side of the road. Everybody passing me by. Ooh, that's a big one. I think we better turn around. He's doing really good. We got some miles put on him today. There ain't no doubt about that. There's a nice waterfall over here. That's a good ways from here. Tell spring is in there. We're hearing a woodpecker working on a new home here. Y'all hear him? Quiet hears him. Okay, y'all, we are back inside and I'm about to get some onions soaking in some buttermilk. For homemade onion rings i got this pan from tj maxx yesterday it's the baker's table brand it was only 7.99 same color as my well it's almost the same color as the KitchenAid. they also had some small square ones i totally picked one up and then i was like nah i'll just get the big one and now i'm really wishing i would have gotten the square one i think it was 5.99 this one was 7.99 it's a 9 by 13. i just love the speckled things i just love them Anyway, we're gonna slice up two onions. We're having cheeseburgers tonight and we're gonna make the homemade onion rings, but I also have chips because not everybody loves onion rings. I also got, because I needed a new pot, my gray one, y'all know that I had, got all scratched up from the men folk around here cooking in it. So I got this one. I just now this afternoon started taking the stuff that I got out of the bags because I wanted to use this panda soak these onions in so i had to wash it real quick i did get some spring stuff but i think i'll wait and show you all the spring stuff when we do the spring decorating there are only 15 or 16 days until the first day of spring so we're not far away we got no snow this year besides just you know those couple of days y'all saw that we got little just a tiny not even snow flurries you couldn't even call them that it was just barely a little bit of flakes we got to see that's fine i'm ready for spring and the warmer days to get here anyway maybe the snow won't leave us out next winter okay so we're just gonna slice the onions into rings of course about i don't like extremely thick onion rings so i'm gonna go right there spread them all around the pan be careful not to break them i almost broke that one they're just gonna soak in the buttermilk for just a little while, maybe 30 minutes or so. While they're soaking, I will go ahead and show y'all the stuff we picked out for the boys' bathroom upstairs. It will be back in working order in the next few days, hopefully. So I got them a new shower curtain and a few different things for in there. And I, I got some stuff at Hobby Lobby the last couple of times we went there for their bathroom too. 
Well, some of it's already hanging up up there, that scrub-a-dub-dub -dub sign. Some of it's already in there. Yeah, see, two onions. It's gonna make a lot of onion rings. This is reminding me of cornbread and buttermilk. My daddy used to love that. Titus went through a phase where he loved it. Y'all remember? <laughs> I'm gonna pour the rest of this buttermilk in here. Because Great Value does not have resealable buttermilk cartons. They got the kind that will make a mess in your refrigerator. So, for the boys' bathroom upstairs, I got this shower curtain. It's uh, gray and like a dark yellow color and a shower liner. These came from TJ Maxx. And this was also, I think, from TJ Maxx. Yeah, this is the little shower caddy. It hangs over there, uh, the actual shower. You can see on here the shower head. It just hangs over that. I liked this one. I thought it would look good because it had the wood bottom things and it'll match the wood, you know, at the top of their shower. And I got them this bath mat set. It's almost the same color as the darker stripes in the shower curtain. I also got these kitchen towels, y'all know, from the Goodwill. And I was going to tell y'all how much they were. I think they were $3.99, but I'm not 100% sure. If y'all missed yesterday's video, I'll link it down below. But the Goodwill has brand new stuff now. Like, these were brand new. They had brand new pots and pans, uh, birthday party stuff. It's almost like somebody bought out the Goodwill or something. I don't know. <laughs> like, they even had the same layout now as, like, TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Ross, the you know, walk through little deal to get to the checkout where they have candy and different things. And anyway, I'm thinking somebody bought out the Goodwill. I've never seen them, you know, have new stuff like that before, but they have new stuff now. Candles, all kind of stuff. Anyway, I got this pack of kitchen towels. It didn't have a price on it in there, but I'm pretty sure when he rang this up, it was $3.99. All right, the onion rings have been soaking in the buttermilk for about 40 minutes now. We're gonna go ahead and make the flour mixture. We need couple of cups of all-purpose flour and I'm just using this round baking pan to do this part. We need a little over a teaspoon of baking powder, a couple of teaspoons of salt, and about a teaspoon of pepper. Here's where you can put whatever you want to put. You can put cayenne pepper, some paprika, whatever you want to put to season them. I'm still trying to decide what do I want to use. I think I'm going to use a little bit of cayenne, not much. Just a dash. I'm gonna put a little bit of this caramelized onion butter. And I'm gonna put just a couple of teaspoons of sugar. Yeah, go ahead and mix that up. <laughs> now, we've got this set up and ready to go. We're gonna make the hamburger patties. I'm turning all the burners on because I'm gonna cook the patties over here and we're gonna toast the buns over here. Y'all hear the froggies? <laughs> oh, makes it feel like summer. I'm cooking a little bit later this evening too because I'm not for sure when Titus and the boys will be back. They don't have a signal up on that mountain, so I haven't heard from them, but we're ready to eat, so we're gonna go ahead and cook. Look at that sunset. The chickens are going in already. I see Miss Turkey at the door. She's making her way in. I need to get some butter that I can put on there for the bun side. Mm -hmm. 